It sure is dark in here. <laughs> Wish I hadn't left my spelunking gear at Angela's house. <laughs> you need a light? No thanks, I never smoke on the job. <laughs> They got here bats in here. Are you saying I have bats down there? Yes. <laughs> there it is. Think you can get it off? Get the chastity belt off. I'll give it a try. scared, I just mouth the alphabet over and over again to myself. <laughs> Keeps me calm. Excuse me. Medieval cootie clapper trap. <laughs> there, there. You'll get used to it. The chastity belt. No, oh, that sucks. The crying you'll get used to. You're doing a lot of crying. Seeing as you can't have sex ever again. <laughs> Except for giving blowjobs to sexy plumbers. <laughs> Wait! Uh, sure we want dinner first. <laughs> I think it came with instructions! <laughs> I don't get this at all. Not at all. Let me see that. <laughs> Welcome to your newfound chastity belt. <clears throat> Let's see, sizing your chastity belt, adjustments, ringtones, here we go. <laughs> How to remove your chastity belt when your husband has left you for your big titted sister. Oh, yay! Step one, find a man. <laughs> Done. Step two. Hand the man the instructions. Double done! <laughs> step three, tell the man to read step four. Read step four. <laughs> step four. Tell her that her... Tell her that the grass isn't damp, just cool. That you want to sit down in the grass with her, and as you do, you want your hand to gently graze the cool skin of her forearm. Tell her that the folds of her skirt remind you of waves and tell her that her cheeks are naturally the color of bruised fruit. And that the bead of sweat in her upper lip reminds you of the dew on a tall glass of tea. <laughs> look into her eyes and tell her that when you look into her eyes, your eyes aren't cool but damp. And that you are sure if you press them tight, they cry. And that you wouldn't mean you were sad. Read to her anything, a book or a poem or even instructions to some metal underwear. <laughs> and as you read it, tell her in some way that you aren't really reading the instructions, but telling her something completely different. Tell her that her name is Rebecca, which it is, <laughs> and that you like the name Rebecca since it rhymes with something in your heart, something like Tebeka or Fabeka. <laughs> and this something pricks you when you're so when you smell grass that's just been cut or when you stay up all night and hear the first birds start to twitter in the dark. Or when you're alone late at night writing, thinking of someone you love. Tell her that the greatest thing you could do on your own is to be with her. And that the most exciting thing you could do is to hold her while she sleeps. The most tranquil sound in the world is the sound of her laugh. Tell her all of these things. And she 
all these things to her over that. Even knowing all of these things, it may not be enough for her to not let go. Oh, that's some scary shit. <laughs> <laughs>